Well then, make sure to tie Langley up. Yes! Tie her up! Don't let her... Don't let her memes be dream. Gent. Gent. Can you please do more creepy stories? Gent. Gent, please, why don't you do more creepy stories? Perhaps it's because there have been no ones that interest me. And maybe it's cause it got a bit old at the time. But now I'm back cause there's a new creepy school bus out from Don't Turn Around. And we're going to react to it today. Yeah! If you enjoy it, please make sure to like it and also subscribe. And click that little bell. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be, as I just said, Read, watching a creepy text story once again. Now, by far the most popular creepy text story uh, series, by far the most popular creepy text story videos were the creepy school bus ones. And that is because creepy school bus ones were the most interesting ones. They had the most story, they had a recurring story. Uh, you can go go check out the original videos, and you can check out my videos on the original videos. The link to the channel that I'm on is in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, it's a great, great series of creepy stuff. Today we're going to be going through it. So uh, let's hold hands and get through. This one's called The Creepy School Bus Descends. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Phone connection lost. You guys still there? Okay, yes, yes, are you okay? Lost connection. Alright, I don't remember much that happened. Yeah, it got disconnected. They switched drivers. Oh my goodness, this is a continuation. Okay, who's driving now? Uh, Langley. Langley, okay, okay, Mrs. Langley? OMG, get her. I'm just, I'm trying to turn this down because the music's... Uh, we can't. We are all tied up. Oh no, okay, they're all tied up. How are you texting? Oh, I remember, it was a group text. That was going on. She didn't see my phone. That's lucky. Hands are free. Good. Lucky. But wrists tied together. Okay, yep. Hands are free, but they're still like that. Okay. Legs tied to seat poles. Oh, jeez. Where's the bus taking you? Just down. That's all I know. Oh, it's going down to that little cave thing. It's going down really steep. It's, it's so steep, it's scary. It's like a 90 degree angle. Like going down longest slide. Going to hell. Why would he say that? Tell your bro this is not time for jokes. <laughs> Shut up, moron. Yeah, exactly. This is serious. Yep, it is serious. Sorry. Sorry. Mr. Warren is waking up. He's at the front of the bus. Can he get Langley? No, he's tied up too. <coughs> oh no. Who else is on the bus? Mm, no. A girl, Allison, is next to me. Okay. She's the one who was first kidnapped from school. Oh, okay. I didn't remember that. Jamie and Eddie a few seats ahead. Chloe near front. Alright. Langley driving Mr. Warren at front tied up on the floor. We knew that much. That's all the kids who went missing from our school. Well, this is where they all went. You have to get out of there. Tell her something she doesn't know. What? Oh, tell her something she doesn't know. I get it. I don't know how. OMG. Allison has a hairpin. Okay. She's trying to untie her, her knot. Hang on. If you have a hairpin... Like, some people who are pros can use that to, like, do crazy stuff, but... Hairpin... Let's see. If your hands are tied, and you grab your hairpin... And... I, oh, I guess you could use it to untie it. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I can see it. Awesome. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Do something crazy. It didn't work. Oh. Wait, did she just stop trying? She says it's too tight. Hmm. That's too bad. Sad face. Yeah. Sad face. Damn. That's not good. Alright, what's gonna happen next? She's whispering to Jamie. I'm trying to get his attention. Jamie! 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 Okay, he sees her. Good. She's rolling the hairpin to him. 
Oh, that's dangerous. What if he gets lost halfway? The bus is dipping, so it's going towards him. <gasps> awesome. Did he get it? Jamie's reaching for it. Surely in the time... Oh, no, it rolled by. Oh, surely in the time that he was reaching for it, she would have text finished texting. Going towards Chloe. She missed it. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to go up to Miss Langley. And Miss Langley's... Good news. Mr. Warren sees it. It's going towards him. Oh, come on. Come on. He got it. Yes. Good. But Langley keeps looking at him. That's not good. Oh, no. Does she know? Probably not. I think she can tell something's up. Yeah. But she doesn't quite know. Distract her. That's not a bad idea. Go. I started screaming. That's a pretty good distraction. Now Jamie is yelling at her. Uh, she keeps turning around. It's working. It's flustered. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Everyone is screaming. Oh my goodness. That's got to be horrible. Langley stopped the bus. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be bad if she stopped the bus. OMG. She has a syringe. No. Oh no. With a really long needle. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Yep. Crying face. Big crying face. I wonder why this guy's getting this emojis. She's next to Jamie screaming, Shut up or you'll get this. Hide your phone. Yeah, yeah. No. She probably did it to her. Chloe started crying. Did they use it on Chloe? So Lainley stabbed her in the neck. Oh, no. Yelling, Shut up. Oh, that's not good. Chloe's head plopped down. Yep, as it did. It probably knocked her out. Or maybe worse. Dun, dun, dun. Lainley killed her? I think so. Oh. Well, she only thinks. Maybe she didn't. Langley has Sharpie and writing on Chloe's arm. A number, I think. Yeah, wait, what? What? That's confusing. Why is she writing? OMG, she went up to everyone and, and then on me wrote 33 on my arm. Allison was 34. Maybe, oh, numbering the people they stole? They, they've been kidnapping? Has Mr. Warren got free? I can't tell. Come on, Mr. Warren. You got this. We're driving again. Okay. OMG. What? He's free. Okay, here we go. He jumped over and trying to get the trying to get steering wheel. They're fighting. Oh, she's going to pull out something and attack him. Like pull out another syringe or something. Bus nearly hit tunnel. No one's steering. Oh no. Bus scraping side of tunnel. Oh, sparks outside window. Ooh, uh, glass window breaking! Glass window breaking! Bus stopped. Oh my goodness. Langley is on floor. They... I think the needle went in her neck. Oh my goodness, they could get out of there. Dead? Probably not. Probably just knocked out. I hope so, don't know. Uh, they could get out of there though. They could get out. Come on. Warren says Chloe's alive. Okay, which means Langley's got to be alive. He's untying Chloe. Well then, make sure to tie Langley up. Yes! Tie her up. Don't let her... Don't let her memes be dreams. He freed Jamie and Eddie. Eddie bleeding. Cut from glass. Ugh. Bad? It sounds bad. Sounds bad. Not sure. Oh. Come on. Come on, guys. Warren is tying shirt around Eddie's arm. Smart. Sounds bad. But it's smart. Smart to do. Smart thing to do. No, he's shaken, but okay. Yep. Phew. He's untying Allison. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good. I'm free! I'm free! Mr. Warren said he'd get us out of here. That was four minutes later that she said she's free. He took Langley's phone. Is calling someone. Who? Mmm, sounds like his boss at the FBI. Okay, good. 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 He's asking why they haven't come for us yet. He got off the bus. Mad. I'd be mad too. He's pacing back and forth. This is two minutes later that he's pacing back and forth. Alright. He's figuring out what to do. Can't he just... Yeah, that's exactly what I was just about to say. Drive back out. Jamie says we should get off the bus too. Uh, whoa, we're off bus. It's so hot. Really, and dark. 
Maybe they were driving directly into a lava pit. <laughs> There's a really strange noise. Hmm. What could that noise be? Creepy. Mm hmm. It's a creepy text story after all. So it's gotta be creepy. It's gotta be creepy! Like a scary wind! I don't like being out here. Of course you don't. You wanna be home. I feel something is watching us. Maybe Langley's awake. Drive back up the way the bus came down. I agree. She needs to at least say why she's not doing that. We can't. The tunnel is too narrow to turn around. I thought that might be the case, to be honest. But you can reverse up. Like, it's probably safer. Mr. Warren is thinking about reversing up. It's probably safer to actually reverse up. I know you might get hit by a car, but what are the odds that someone else would have come here? Jamie said he'll do it. Alison says if another bus comes, he'd get run over. Well, yeah, and if another bus comes, you'll get hit by the bus if you're reversing up, but that's safer than walking up. She's right, and Chloe isn't awake, so you should reverse up. They'd have to carry her. All right. It would be impossible. Sad face. Sad face. <laughs> We're back in the bus. Mr. Warren is trying to wake up Langley. He slapped her. <laughs> Worked. She's awake. Oh no, don't wake her up. But she won't answer him. What's he asking? He's saying, how do we get out of here, probably? Where are we going? Who, who, who she works for? Where are we going? Who she works for? Where are we going? Who you work for? OMG, she spat in his face. Ugh, yuck. Yuck. Sad face again. Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. He told us to face the other way. I think he wants to do something bad to her. That's scary. That's creepy. Oh, that noise shouldn't have happened. I apologize for that. We all turned except Allison. She begged Mr. Warren not to hurt Langley. Okay, can you stop? Uh, huh? OMG, she said Langley was her aunt. <gasps> well, that's a pretty cool twist, I guess, but <laughs> there's not too much at stake there. He's tying Langley up. Yeah, I mean, okay. He told Jamie and Eddie to guard her so she doesn't break free. Oh no. I mean, you can't have kids just guard a, a woman like that. You have a plan? He said, we can't reverse up the hill as it's too steep. Okay, they, re they answered the... That's why. And can't walk because it's too dangerous. True, so they have to go down. Only choice is to go down. I guess. Is it really too steep to reverse? Why don't you wait for the police? I guess... Yeah, I guess too steep to reverse makes sense. I asked Mr. Warren. He said somehow they still can't find the entrance. How can't they find the way in? They're the police. That's true. That's what I was thinking. Um, well, I mean, the police aren't all-knowing, unfortunately. He said help might not be coming. That we had to help ourselves. Oh, uh, they have to go deeper in and figure out what's going on. They probably have to wait till it gets to it, like drive the bus down, wait till it gets to an opening, turn around and drive back up. Going down tunnel. How can he drive with one leg? <laughs> true. You don't need two legs to drive, just one to hit the gas and the same one to hit the brake. That's true, that's how you drive. You don't use your left leg. Bus getting bumpy. Ugh, bus going up and down hard. Bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Feeling car sick again. Mm, yeah, I bet you would. Bus sick. <laughs> okay, he's making unnecessary jokes again. Uh, embarrassed, I threw up. That's This is not the time to be embarrassed. TMI, sad face, face palm. Jamie said if I did it again, to do it on Langley. Oh my goodness. Ha, awesome. Uh, I like him. Me too. Me three. I can't wait to get home to you guys. Yeah, I bet you'd be so homesick already. Mr. Warren sees something. It's a light in the distance. Yeah. The exit? Perhaps. I think so. Here we go. Yes! Yay! Awesome! Lit! It's getting closer. Lit. <laughs> it's getting closer. Oh, light at the end of the tunnel. I, I don't want to look just in case it jump scares me. We're going outside. Uh, don't jump scare me. Huh? 
Wait, this isn't... What is it? No! Phone connection lost. Oh my goodness. That is the creepy school bus descends. Big cliffhanger at the end there. What did they actually come out into? Did they come out into a into a tunnel or it was hot so maybe there's something to do with the heat there. Uh, that's down below. Um, it could be anything like that. What do you guys think happened? Let me know down in the comments below. I think that was really cool. I, I like, I like, you know, you could actually go through these, you could analyze the characters, there's a lot about the character, like, the characters seem to be their own distinct, uh, people, it's easier to see them as just, like, you know, the person getting kidnapped, and the people, the people responding to it, um, it's easier to see it like that, but really, it's four or five different people responding to it, so they've all got different personalities and stuff, and you can also tell that from, like, their, their, their picture and stuff, like, the Joker guy, the person who's always making the jokes, the brother, is, uh, is always, like, is, like, smiling, grinning big in his picture and stuff, and one of them has, like, a, them on the beach, and one of them has, like, paint, um, a paint palette and stuff. Um, and the different, like, times between the texts as well, they normally tell you, like, sort of how long things have taken, so you can, you can get a good perspective of, like, wh how, yeah, how everything's going and stuff, but, I mean, regardless, that was a really cool, um, really cool story right there, and so now, I mean, we just gotta wait for the sequel to that, so guys, let me know if you enjoyed that in the comment section below, make sure to like the video, it really helps me out, thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, if you subscribe, you get daily content from me, and click that little notification bell while you're at it, so you get little notifications every time I post a new video, it's definitely worth it, it's definitely awesome, so uh, definitely do that, and uh, that's about it guys, so I want you to stay perfect, stay positive, see you guys, Mwah.